We can see it did make a difference. There's my little area that it didn't put anything, so you can see it's still green. All right, so as you can see, I've let my grass grow up quite a bit in my gravel portion of my driveway here. And I kind of did it for a reason, not being lazy. Well, kind of being lazy because I've been mowing it. But I wanted to see how well this theory of using vinegar and salt and soap works for killing grass. So I'm going to get set up over here and we're going to test because I normally use this Roundup stuff and it works pretty good, but it's kind of expensive. So I wanted to see if a cheaper alternative would work. So I have got set up over here on my garage, way over there, I got a time-lapse camera. And so we're going to do a time-lapse and we're going to see just how well this stuff works. So let's walk over here to the grass and I'll show you what I got set up. All right, so in the grass here, you can see there's two faint little lines. There's one right there and one right there. That's going to be my control area. So I'm not going to spray anything right there. I want to see just to make sure if the grass just dies on its own, which I doubt it will, it would die. But I want to have a control. So this side, I'm going to spray the Roundup on. And then this side down here, that corner, I'm going to spray the vinegar and salt and soapy bubble solution. And then we're going to watch on the time lapse and we're going to see what does what and how long it takes to do it. And I may leave it up there long enough to see if it grows back. So let's get set up over here and we'll mix up our vinegar and salt and soapy bubble solution. And then we'll go to spray it. All right, so the Roundup comes pre-mixed or I just reuse this little jug here. I buy the concentrate and then I put it back in there with some water. So I mixed it up. So this is good to go. That's going to be running. Now we got to mix up our concoction of vinegar and soapy bubbles and some Epsom salt. So let's get it all poured in here because we've got to stir it up and get it where it doesn't have any salt left in it because it'll stop up my spray. Dang, it actually dissolves really fast. That's surprising. I figured that salt wouldn't dissolve very fast, but apparently it does. It's that bath salt. So what we have right here might be something good for cucumbers. We're going to see if it's good for killing any grass. So I'm going to add some soapy bubbles to it after I put it in the pumper. That way I don't get the bubbles everywhere. But it dissolved real quick, mixed up real quick, so that's good. Now we'll put it in the pumper over here. Ooh Show smell like vinegar. All right, so we need about a tablespoon of soapy bubbles. So I'm just going to put what I think is about a tablespoon. Doesn't matter how much you put, I guess. So we got all of that in solution. So now we're set up with our two sprayers. So let's get set up over here and we're going to spray a little bit. And then we're going to let the time lapse camera show us what happens over the course of the next few days and see what it does to kill these weeds. All right, so let's start with our vinegar mix here. And I'm going to spray quite a bit on it because it's pretty cheap. And if it works, I can just spray a bunch, bunch, bunch. So we're already pumped up and we're ready to spray. So we're going to start to our control line. And we're just going to spray our mix on here. a half gallon down in that little bit of area right there so it's pretty inexpensive so who cares we're going to give it a try and we got it all nice and saturated so now let's switch over to the other side over here and we're going to put that roundup extended control on all right so let's rotate our camera over on this side and i'm going to go down through here spraying this side with the extended control and then our time lapse is going to be able to tell us as this stuff does its magic which one's going to work better. I'm not going to spray as much of this on there because this stuff's kind of expensive. So with 
everything sprayed. Now all we got to do is sit back and watch the time lapse. Give it a few days and we'll see which one does what. And then we're going to know whether or not that vinegar and salt and soapy bubble solution works as good as like a professional commercial chemical that'll kill grass. So we'll be back after the time lapse runs and we're going to see what all this is about. All right, so after five days out here with our test for the vinegar, salt, and soapy bubbles versus the Roundup Extended Control, we can see it did make a difference. There's my little area that I didn't put anything, so you can see it's still green. So if you were watching the time lapse, you would see that this area over here, after a couple of days, started turning really brown. So I was like, man, this vinegar stuff's actually going to work. But if we look really close, you can see that after five days it started to grow back and so it's green again it did kill the clover it, the clover didn't like it much at all but even the clover starting to come back a little bit so you can see it does burn it but it doesn't seem to do anything to the roots and so it's just starting to grow back after five days versus if we look at the roundup stuff it takes about five days for it to really get a good grip you know you could see it kind of dying a little bit turning yellow and then finally it's getting to the point now after five days it's turning brown and it's going to go on and turn brown and it's going to die so you can see the roundup extended control does work because it gets down in the roots with the chemical that's in it so as we can see our study showed us that if we just want to burn some grass up real quick but it isn't going to kill it we can put the vinegar salt and soapy bubbles on there or if we want to kill it and be done with it for six months or four months or whatever that extended control stuff says it does just go ahead and put some roundup on it so i guess this concludes that we just need to save the vinegar and the salt for cucumbers eat them and then we can use the soapy bubbles to wash up the dishes because it's not going to be worthwhile to do this every week to try to keep killing this stuff so we're just going to spray the extended control and go on about our lives so now i got to mix up a little bit more and I'm going to spray some more Roundup here and then also over here because I sprayed the Roundup across the whole yard and the driveway and everything where I want to kill it. So we're good to go. Except for this little spot, we'll kill this on off and we'll be done. Well, alrighty. Well, thanks for watching.